Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Jason Clark. I am Dream Inspired, and you're watching my Hot Shot Life here on YouTube. So today what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go ahead and we're gonna go over all of the specs on my truck. I've had a lot of people asking me about the 2019 5500, the limited edition, the one that I got. Today we're gonna go over everything on the truck. Come on with me, let's go through a few things. All right guys, so to start off very first on this truck, this is a 2019 Ram 5500 cab chassis. It is the pearl white with the black interior. This is the limited package, guys. I have to put that out there. This is the limited package. And the way the packages are set up on these is you have your Tradesman, your SLT, your Laramie, and then limited. Limited is gonna be your Mac Daddy. It's the best looking thing in the world. I think it's awesome and I got it for a steal, so I'm very happy to have it. This limited package comes with the 6.7 liter Cummins engine and it has the ISIN or ASIN, whichever one you want to say, heavy duty six speed transmission. All right, so talking suspension wise, guys, we're working with the 19.5 inch wheels with the all traction tires. Now this truck has the max tow capacity package with the 489 rear axle ratio. I think it's phenomenal. And you know what guys? The total tow capacity on this is 34,120 pounds. That's just a little bit for you guys up top who like to know all the numbers before you buy into anything. All right guys, so we just popped the hood. Let's go ahead, let's take a look at what's under the hood and then we'll talk a little bit more. All right, so the coolest part that I like about this truck, when I was purchasing my truck, one of the biggest things that I needed to make sure that I had was power. Now, I'm running a refrigerator inside. I've got a few different things that I like to plug in. I wanna make sure that the truck has enough power to keep everything that I have running on it. So, what I have on this truck is the ambulance package. This ambulance package comes with all the upfitter switches, comes with everything that I absolutely need to keep myself going while I'm on the road. Now, one of the most important things about getting this engine set up power-wise is making sure that I have enough amperage coming out of my alternators. On this truck, I'm rocking the Dual. That's two 220 amp alternators for a total of 440 amps. Now, something really important for me is to make sure that I have four x four on all of my vehicles. I haven't personally driven a non four x four truck in quite a few years. So I make sure that every truck that I have is four x four. And this truck is rocking the electronic shift on the fly four x four. It's phenomenal, I really love it. All I do is I just push a button, it takes care of what I need to do right on the spot and it gets me out of a jam. And trust me guys, in this business, I've been in that jam twice. Another cool feature that this truck has is the power takeoff prep. And also we have the cold weather group, the engine block heater on here. And that takes care of everything for in the winter time, of course. I haven't had it in the winter time yet, so I don't know how it's gonna work, but I've got it on here. Check back with me in a few months and I'll let you know how that works. All right guys, so before we jump into the sleeper, which I know is everybody's main question, everybody wants to see the inside of the sleeper, they wanna know all the specs on everything. Let's talk about the inside of the truck, guys. Don't worry, we're coming to that. All right guys, so I'm up inside the truck now. Now, 
the layout in this truck is probably the best layout that I've had in any truck. When I was purchasing this truck, one thing I wanted to make sure that I had was this huge center console. And this thing works amazingly. This slides back. I have a bunch of different cup holders and stuff. So I'm able to take care of all my drinks, everything while I'm on the road. I've got a nice armrest here. I got plenty of storage underneath it. And then even when I move this up, I have tons of dump storage right underneath that as well. Uh, plus everything here opens up. I've got everything that I need. So let's go ahead and start this baby up and let's see what happens. Let's go ahead and show you guys some of the really cool features on this truck. Now I have every different kind of button here that's on the steering wheel I can take care of. In the rear I take care of the, uh, the volume on the radio. I can change the stations over here on this side. I go back and forth here with all of my settings up on the dash. Also guys, another one of my really favorite features on this vehicle is the adaptive cruise control which is going to be our buttons here. You have your regular cruise control buttons that you can set. You, turn your cruise control on so our cruise control is now on but one of the awesome things here is the adaptive cruise control I turn this button here on turns on our cruise control so as I'm driving down the road this pretty much takes care of my braking it does everything that I need to if you guys want more information I can probably drop a link to explain everything on how that works down in the comment section below um, and I'll see what I can put there for you guys now another question that I had earlier on was about my gear shifter. On a lot of the other trucks, you know, the older models, there was a button that was here to shift your gears up and down whenever you wanted to uh, or whenever you needed to while you were out on the road. Instead of it being here on the shifter this time, it's down here on the steering wheel. So I have very quick, easy access to, and I don't have to move my hands off the wheel to take care of what I need to while I'm on the road. Okay guys, let's talk about the radio. A lot of people have questions on this radio on how it works, what's going on with it. It's a 12 inch massive overkill of a screen. I'm going to be honest guys, my iPad is right here and this screen is probably about three inches bigger than my iPad. This thing is insane. Look at it compared to the size of my hand. One of my favorite features about this screen though is the dual screen capability where I'm able to have my GPS up here and I've, and I've got my radio down here. I can switch it to my GPS on the bottom. I can put my radio to the top however I want to do it, mix and match it. But this is definitely the, my favorite feature about this radio. Another cool feature that our truck has here is the wireless phone charger. All I have to do is drop my phone in here it takes about five to 10 seconds sometimes, but the phone will come on, then it starts charging it automatically, wirelessly. I don't even have to plug my phone in. Also, another cool thing that we do have, we have a 400 watt inverter on the truck. So I have one outlet here, and then I have another outlet on the back of our setup here. All right guys, so now that we've checked out the inside of the truck, we've seen the engine, we've got all the specs, let's start talking about the big part that everybody wants to know. Let's talk about the sleeper. All right guys, let's go ahead let's talk about this sleeper. This sleeper is brought to you by Mr. Lassiter and you can check him out at roadmastertruck.com. He's located in Grifton, North Carolina. I've got his shirt, I've got his hat. We're rocking the merch today. Let's talk about this sleeper. Let's start on the outside and we'll go through a few of the things. First off guys, this is a 54 inch sleeper. Now Mr. Lassiter has two different models that he can make for you. He's got a 30 inch. If you want something a little bit smaller, you're not looking a big added way you just need a little space you need somewhere to sleep for the night the 30 inch is phenomenal this here that we have is the 54 inch let's talk about this a little bit more all right guys first i want to say how amazing mr lassiter is in putting this thing together not only was he able to match the pearl paint on this but he saw that i had the limited package for the truck and he even went the extra mile to put this little thing down here on the side to make it look good, to upfit it the right way. Now, when you're looking at these and you're buying one, he's gonna throw in the four marker lights here for you. You've got these on either side. They look great at night. It makes the truck look phenomenal. It lights up everything. On our sleeper here, one of the coolest things that Mr. Lassiter is able to do when he's putting this together is he's able to hook up a rear camera. Now, on most vehicles, the rear camera is set right here to the back. With my vehicle though, because I have the limited package and I have the 360 degree camera, I have not only one in the back, but I also had one with the stock high mount light 
that was up in the top behind the cab. What Mr. Lasseter was able to do for me is not only connect a camera back here in the rear, but one of the cool things that he's able to do is put a camera right here in the center for me. So I have view from the back if I'm backing up to let's say your regular tow hitch behind your truck if I want to pay, pull maybe my boat or something or I'm able to see from the rear as I'm hooking up my fifth wheel or gooseneck. Now, one of the other great things that Mr. Lasseter was able to do for me was take care of my fender wells. He's got these awesome mud flaps that he puts down here. He's got his company information. Definitely check out roadmastertruck.com for these. He's able to take care of this. He mounts this on here, he gets it all nice and firm. It's not going anywhere. He also covers up my chassis. One of the big things that you want to make sure that you do is take care of your chassis. You want to make sure that it's all covered and all sealed up so you're not running illegally down the road. All right, guys, let's talk about the fuel on this truck. Now, my truck comes stock with a 52-gallon fuel tank, but what I did was I had some more stuff put in. I had a nice auxiliary tank put in. Let's come over this way. Let's talk about that. Now, not only am I rocking a 52-gallon fuel tank in the rear, but I'm also rocking a 91-gallon auxiliary tank for a total of 143 gallons of fuel while I'm driving on the road. This is enough fuel to keep me running for a day and a half to two days sometimes. Now you might be wondering about the other fuel tank on here. What's this other fuel tank sitting here? This is a 45 gallon gas tank and that runs our generator which is located on the other side of the truck. One of the big issues that a lot of truckers run into is the fact that you have to run your truck overnight. You have to idle overnight so you can have good AC or you have to buy into a thermal king or get a generator or do different things so you can have power and AC overnight and you don't have to run your truck. One of the cool things Mr. Lasseter is able to do for me is mount an AC up on top. Now when it comes to the AC, this is a 13,500 BTU RV AC that is mounted right to the roof of the truck. Now to make the AC run properly, of course you need power. Where do I get that power from? I get that power from our 4,000 watt RV generator. Let me go ahead and open this up and show you what we got. Now here we are rocking a 4,000 watt Cummins RV generator. This thing is phenomenal. I'm very, very happy with the setup that we have here. Mr. Lasseter wired all of this in, got it all set up for me, took care of it. And this bad boy not only powers my AC, but takes care of my TV, takes care of my laptop, my iPad, all the lights, and I also have a ton of extra power for whatever else I might need while I'm on the road. Our extra fuel tank here is a 45 gallon gas tank that is pump fed, feeds gas down to our generator, and that's how this bad boy runs. Now currently, I'm sitting at 98 hours on my generator. I filled up my fuel tank one time, and I still got about a third of a tank left so I'm very happy with the mileage or the hourage that I've gotten out of this really awesome RV generator. Going into our fifth wheel setup, what I'm rocking here is a 32K, that's 32,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating air ride fifth wheel. This thing, riding down the road, I don't even feel a trailer behind me because not only does the truck pull like a beast, this thing is a monster of a truck with more power to pull anything that I've ever pulled myself before. But with this air ride fifth wheel, I don't feel the trailer behind me at all. All right guys, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna turn this hat backwards. Why? Because we're about to get serious. We're about to get into this thing. Let's go check out the interior of the truck. Come on, let's go. All right guys, MTV crib style. Let's show you where the magic happens. When people ask me about my why, the reason why I do everything in life, the reason why I work hard, I go out, I do the things that I do to make the money that I make, whatever it might be, every move I make, my reason why is always my family, that being my fiance Bianca and my daughter Eliana. One of the biggest advantages to being in the trucking industry in general is the fact that you have the ability to travel. Now, of course, going out and traveling, like I live in South Florida. I don't really get to see much more than palm trees and coconuts. I hate to say that that's a bad thing. I live in your paradise. You guys just happen to live in my paradise being out here. Guys, I'm in Nevada right now. I'm looking at a beautiful mountain range behind me. This is stuff that I never really got to see growing up because I didn't get the advantage to travel. 
being in this business and getting into this, the coolest part is that I get to travel and I get to go places. And because I get to go places, I want to take my family with me. That's why I built this truck. Come take a look at it with me. So when I was first building this truck, the biggest and the most number one thing on my list was safety. Comfortability of course came next, but making sure that my family was safe while we were in this truck out on the road was the most important thing to me. When it came to designing the interior and the back for seating, I made sure that we used two captain's chairs. Now when I was talking with Mr. Lassiter and we were going over a few things on the truck, he said, listen Jay, I can put any kind of captain's chairs back here. I can make this work for you any way that you want, but give me a few days. Let me look online. Let me find some good stuff. Let me see what I can do for you because this is a limited edition truck. This isn't your regular truck. You didn't want to just throw some cheap chairs in here and just make it work. The captain's chairs that he put in here are out of a 2019 Laramie and I love the way he's got these set up. Mr. Lassiter went the extra mile for me and I'm very, very happy with the way that this turned out. Okay guys, the moment everyone has been waiting for, let's show you all MTV Crib style where the magic happens. Let's do this. Now for a guy who's in the hotshot trucking world the way I am, sleeping in the back seat is definitely one of the most dreaded things that I do. With this sleeper, I don't have to do that anymore. Guys, I used to wake up with my neck hurting, my back hurting. I didn't really want to move and then to have to sit in the driver's seat all day long, that really sucked. But now I don't have to do that. Why? Because I have this 44 inch wide by 78 inch long bed to sleep on. This bed is amazing. One of the coolest things about this bed is that it not only gives me the ability to sleep nice and comfortably all night long, but it also lifts up for a ton of underbed storage here, just like you'd see in a regular RV. One of the best things about Roadmaster and their setup and the way they build these is they make it so I can control everything from right here inside the cab. Now my fan here, which is being run off of our 115 volt, is actually powered by our generator, which has this awesome on and off switch right here. All I have to do is push the button down, the light comes on, and then I'm able to start the generator up right from here. Another really cool add-on that Mr. Lassiter does when he's building these is he puts in a fuel gauge here so I know exactly how much fuel is left in my auxiliary tank for my generator. Now I have a 45 gallon tank and I currently have just over a third of fuel left with almost 100 hours on my generator already. Let's go ahead and look at some of the really cool features in this cab. First off, I have to tell you guys, every single cab that Mr. Lasseter puts together gets a carbon monoxide alarm. This definitely comes in handy should you ever run into trouble out on the road. Uh, any gases get into your vehicle, you definitely wanna know about it and could save your life. Over here, we've got a really awesome reading light. And in the rear, we have a dual cab light. One side turns on, then the other will turn on as well. In the center, of course, we do have our AC, which you guys have seen from the outside. It has AC, has heat, has a few different settings for the fan. This thing is amazing, blows ice cold, gets ice cold in, I want to say probably about five seconds from turning it on. Now, if we're looking over at the passenger side wall, you're going to notice four 115 volt outlets. Now, in this area, Mr. Lasseter reserves this for, say, a TV or a microwave, or there's a few other options that he can add in there go ahead get in touch with him let him know exactly what you're looking for in your cab and he might be able to take care of it for you all right so i know a lot of you guys really like that video but i gotta say that the filming of the video isn't all on me i have to give thanks here to my good friend mr anthony taylor who lives out here in sparks nevada guys it's beautiful out here and he gets to see this stuff at all times anthony now let me ask you a question how long have you been in this industry I've been in the trucking industry for a little over 16 years. Okay, cool. So over time, you're probably going to be a really good connect for me, and I can ask some questions for and some advice, right? Oh, for sure. All right, cool, man. Well, let me go ahead. Let me let you go, man. Thank you very much for helping me out with this video. Yep. I'm very grateful. I know the guys who are watching this, they're all grateful as well, man. Let me go ahead and let you go. I know your wife's in the truck. She's got to get out of here. You guys got to get running. Thank you again, man. All right, I will see man. you guys a little bit later. I hope to see you guys down the road. Likewise, buddy. Hey guys, did you like that video? If you did, go ahead, hit the thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more great content just like this. As for you, I hope you drive safe out there on the roads, 
My name is Jason, and this has been My Hot Shot Life, and I will, as always, see you on the next one.